Hey friends, how are you? Have you been dying to see what our new RV looks like? Well, I'm super excited to show you. We just got it today. Uh, it's in our driveway right now. So check it out. Uh, for those of you who are also Gamecocks fans, you'll notice that it was meant to be because it's already Gamecocks color. Um, we did not do that on purpose, but we're excited that uh, we can because we're going to do a lot of tailgating this year because Lauren starts uh, school next week at the University of South Carolina. So come on in. I'm going to show you what it looks like inside before we pop it out. All right, this is it. So when we're riding down the road, this is my chair. This is the cockpit. And um, you can see there's a lot. Oh, look, we already have our Gamecocks. Uh, we already have our Gamecocks uh, blanket out, I guess. That was George doing that. So um, we've got a lot of space, places for people to ride. You can still sit at the table and get back to the bathroom, which is back here. And then the bedroom and stuff is beyond that. And uh, we can still get in the fridge. Uh, so there's still a good amount of space inside. Wait till you see it when it's popped out. Of our last one. So I have all this space and this is a recliner. And this island comes out right here to make the kitchen larger. And this is a pull-out queen-size bed, but none of those springs anymore for our friends that stay in there. This is an air mattress. So like you pull it out and you hook it up to the air and it blows up to your desired, you know, however firm or soft you want it. Uh, this this uh, kitchen table comes out so it seats four people. So this is what we look like in this area, popped out, and we haven't even started in the back. I'll show you, we gotta do that next. We have this like super fancy control panel. You see the whole entire RV and manage everything from this one panel, which is also like an upgrade from what we had before. Um, so you can kind of see how the whole thing looks when it when it's uh, popped out. Meanwhile, I think that's it. All right. So before we leave this area, this is the half bath, which is a little bit smaller than our other one, but it will do the trick. And it's actually got a lot better like toilet and stuff. One of the cool things that I also really like about this one is our storage pantry. Do you remember before when I said you had to reach your arm all the way back in there? Now we can adjust these and put all our liquor bottles or cereal boxes all in here, easily stored away so we can access all of it. And there's a lock button so when you're driving, all the heavy stuff doesn't go falling out like we've done before. So cannot get in there. Uh, we love that the water and ice is on the outside now as opposed to having to open everything up. If you want to get a drink of water or ice, you can just go to that. In our kitchen, our upgrades are also a dishwasher. Da -da -da. Yes, I know we have four teenage dishwashers usually on board, but George and I are soon going to be empty nesters in a few years, and I think it'll be awesome either way just to be able to wash all of our glasses and stuff really quickly and not have to worry about that. Um, and then this is a induction top, cooktop. So you have these like special pans that you have to use on there that you can like touch it and it doesn't get hot, but it will boil water at the same time. So that's pretty cool. And the microwave is also like an oven, so it does convection. Um, and then we got like our sink and uh, just like all this really nice storage and drawers, super long. But Got on one side. George is turning off the beeping. <laughs> so from here, you can see the TV. Hi, George. How are you? Oh, oh, show them how the other TV works. Oh, magic. Um, so we've got that TV right straight ahead, right there, which, you know. But over here near the fireplace, ta-da, is the pop-up television. Because, you know, 
you when you're camping, you can't not have a television. <laughs> you can't have too many art TVs in an RV. Uh, let me show you what else we've got down here. This is our bedroom tunnel. It's still a king size bed. And I told you before we had, um, in the old one, we had a pillow top mattress. But this is like the, uh, what's it called? Memory foam. Memory foam, super nice. Um, and then this is cool stuff. Look, see, they put USB ports there because that's where you plug in your phone and chargers and you can turn the lights off from right next to your bed. Things that you didn't think about before that were really important. Um, also, notice the air conditioning vents up here. So people like me that need it to be 69 degrees when I sleep, um, this is going to be so awesome. I literally cannot wait to spend a night in here. Oh, and we have a ceiling fan. Huh? Isn't that funny? It's so cute. Uh, it actually works and it's kind of actually getting a little bit cold in here just from that. So come on in this way. We'll keep going to our new bathroom, which has dual vanities in case George and I have to brush our teeth at the same time. We won't have to fight over it, but it's really nice to have all this extra space. And in case George wants to do the laundry, there's plenty um, the washer and dryer. It doesn't fit a whole lot in there, to be honest, but we can at least do, um, you know, towels, undies, a few things while we're on the road, which is just nice to be able to throw those in. And then we have this whole storage back here uh, with our own built-in security safe for all of George's gambling money before we go to the casinos and things like that. Put that in there, <laughs> we have a safe place to store it. Um, the toilet system is a million times better than the last one. And we've got all these little built-in already towel makers. The shower has like an actual rain head. The doors are like solid, solid, solid doors that don't clink back and forth like in the old one. So we're riding down the street. It's actually really quiet in here. And um, we're just really excited about that. So I think that's pretty much all of our exciting features. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you can't see this on video, but it has heated floors. Just in case your feet are cold, in the winter time, you have heated floors. It's a cool feature. We'll test it out this winter and let you know how that goes. Maybe that'll make us go to some mountain retreat or something like that in our RV. Since it's now a diesel pusher and we can get 800 miles in the tank or something like that. And it's supposed to be a lot easier in the mountains and the hills with a 10,000 pound towing capacity. So we're super excited. Stay tuned for all of our trips and tailgating. Thank you.